All new tonight at five, a health care threat that you do need to know about. Many of the medical devices being used today are not protected from a possible cyber attack. And as CBS 5's Jason Berry tells us, it could put patient lives at risk. If someone can hack into your computer or your cell phone, what's stopping them from hacking into something even more important, like a medical device being used to save your life? 14-year-old Tyler Guthrie prefers to focus on his music, not on the insulin pump and glucose monitor he wears to balance his blood sugar level. Got to get used to monitoring on your phone and just plugging all the numbers and making sure that you're doing everything right. The Mesa teen is like millions of Americans who rely on medical devices to keep them alive. But what if Guthrie's insulin pump suddenly gave him too much medicine? Or what if a heart patient's pacemaker shut down without warning? As soon as you connect something to the internet, you expose it to vulnerabilities. Dr. Christian DeMeff with the U of A College of Medicine is spreading the word about healthcare's newest threat, the cyber hacking of medical devices. Time and time again, we have security researchers, the good hackers out there of the world, showing us that insulin pumps, pacemakers, medication pumps at bedside, these are all relatively easy to hack. Those medical devices will sometimes share code and hardware in other industries. And because these types of things are shared, the vulnerabilities are shared. If it can infect one, it can infect all of them. Next week, doctors, healthcare professionals, and medical device manufacturers will come to U of A's downtown Phoenix campus for a CyberMed summit to discuss what can be done to protect patients. We take care of patients every day in the hospital, and we as doctors implicitly rely on these types of technologies, and we never second guess them and maybe we should. So far, there have not been any reports of individual patients targeted by cyber hackers, but experts say it's only a matter of time unless the healthcare industry improves security. In Phoenix, Jason Berry, CBS 5 News.